Today, I've got three more patriotic DIYs for you. Keep watching. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Welcome. We're gonna start off by making a swag for the door. And I'm just using a stick that I have here that came from Goodwill. You can use a steak um, from Dollar Tree items if you want to. You can use deco mesh or you can use burlap ribbon, whatever you have, and some pipe cleaners, of course. And then I have a variety of ribbons. This one was thrifted. It's really, really nice. And then this one also I got from the thrift store. And this one came from Dollar Tree, so they have a lot of really pretty ones out right now. We'll be using the pipe cleaners as a way to attach the burlap or deco mesh that you choose to the stick. So I'm gonna start off by just twisting one a few times and then pushing it off to the side. I'm gonna grab the next one, right underneath it or right on top of it, twist it off to the other side. Then you're gonna put one in the middle here. Don't glue anything down yet. Just continue along like this. Today, I am trying out a new glue gun. This is cordless and it is from Hippo. I like their product, so I thought I would give it a try when they offered it. So inside the box, we get lots of goodies. We get a variety of glue sticks, this gorgeous little compact glue gun, has a magnet on the bottom so that it just magnetizes to its stand. You can lift it up and put it back down just like that. No clicking, no, no extra work to do that. You have a variety of glue sticks and glitter and the plain ones. The little charging cord comes with it and it just very easily goes right above the little light. It has a fine tip with the silicone around it and then a closed case so that you don't see the glue once you put it in there. It goes all the way in. Now you're gonna use the charging cable that came with it and use your regular charging block and just plug it in, plug it into the wall and let it charge. Right now you can see that it is red. That means it is not ready yet. And when that ring turns green, you are good to go. I did notice so far, a very good fine tip. You are not seeing any glue gushing out around those and I am happy for that. So we're gonna make ribbon stacks to go on here. You're just gonna cut them, cut your ribbons, whichever ones you wanna use. Try for a variety of about three. Then we're gonna assemble our little stake here. So you're gonna start at the top on either side. It doesn't matter, or if it's in the middle, do it in the middle. My camera ate my footage, so I am using this footage from a different video because I've done many of these. These are 10 inch poofs that you're looking at, but for a smaller project like the one I was doing, I was doing eight inch poofs with my burlap. So you're gonna continue along, going to the middle, going to the outside, going down to the middle, going to the outside. And then once you get to the bottom, you're just going to loop it, make a little poof, loop around to the other side. Very easy to do. So back to those ribbons, we are going to cut some dovetails in ours. You can do yours any way you want, but I found this, this makes a nice crisp look. So here's a variety of burlap and my other thrifted ribbons and my Dollar Tree ribbon, but I ran out. So I'm going to just fill in the blank with some of this plaid red and white ribbon. I'll be just kind of alternating throughout with that. To make the stacks, we're just going to make an X and then we're gonna take the next piece of the three, put it right in the center, walk our fingers pinching toward each other for the little ribbon stack. I found this is about the easiest, most foolproof way to do these. I'm gonna press down into the poof there, right where those twist ties are, and just twist that around. So now it is connected to our swag. Continue along, alternating patterns and colors in whichever way that you wanna do it. You don't have to undo that all the way. You can leave it just like it is because you have full length pipe cleaner there so you have plenty of room to twist and turn. Twist it down with a few twists and then you can move on to the next section. Once you get all of your bows in place or your ribbon stacks in place, you can go back through there and straighten everything out. 
It's most ideal if you have wired ribbons, but if you cut them at six inches or lower, it you can actually use unwired ribbons for this and they will kind of hold their own. You can see that the star ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree is not wired, but it is nice and crisp and it is standing up nicely in this little swag. Then you can choose your top and bottom, whichever one you like, and you get to embellish it now. So I have these little ornaments that I thrifted. You can use whatever you have. You can use um, things from the Dollar Tree. These are two Dollar Tree stakes that I cut the stars off of. This is a large star that you could use. Depending on what your taste is, you can use flags to go in the side and just attach them with wire or glue like this or you could use something like this, which is what I originally started off with. There's gonna be a slight change though, so just to let you know. We're gonna work on a bow now to go on the top, now that we've decided what we're gonna use. So, I have about two and a half feet left of this white burlap, and it is wired and I wanted to use it. So I'm just gonna cut two more different ribbons at the same length. Easy enough to do. And these are all the same width. I think they're probably, what, two inches maybe? Two inch ribbon. I'm gonna use my bow maker tool here. If you have one, go ahead and use that. Grab that, it makes making bows much easier. Or you can make one. I'll link my video where I made my own. So I'm just gonna pinch this up. I've got eight inch tail. I know you can't see down there because it's not focused. And then I'm gonna twist it over fold it in the middle and I'm going to have four inch loops then we go to the other side pressing down in the middle I'm gonna grab it fold it in just fold it up there press my bow down and move those tails off to the top and bottom I'm gonna just layer my next ribbon on top and continue along now this ribbon does not have uh, one-sided pattern. It's got a pattern on both sides, which makes it easy because you don't necessarily have to do all the twisting and, and such for that. So it makes it pretty easy. And I'm going to pull my tails over. Now grabbing the last one. And this ribbon actually does have a front and back. So I will be doing a little twist here. You can see how I twisted it so that the pretty side is outward or the stitch side will be inward. I'm just checking it there and then I'm going to fold it over. Press it down, and again with my tails off to the top and bottom. I am going to grab some jute, but you can use another um, Chanel stem if you want to, or you can use a zip tie, whatever you want to use. I'm just trying to get it up under there, just get it in place. I'm not gonna tie it in a double knot at this point. I'm just using it to help me hold it until I get it off of my bow maker, and then I'm gonna slide that over a little bit more to the other side so that it's in the middle. And once I get it in the center, I'll flip it over, give it a couple of tight knots, and then I can dovetail my ends. Feel free to slant these or whatever you like to do to finish off your bows. I'm gonna do it to all of my pieces. Now you get to fluff the bow. And to me, this is one of the most fun things to do. I love doing this. If you've watched enough of my videos, you probably already know that about me. It just makes such a big difference in the way it looks. Very nice. So now I'm going to find my spot here. I'm gonna go underneath that top section, thread my jute right through the back, and then Flip it over and tie it in place. You're gonna give that a good couple of knots and if you wanna use your glue gun at this point, you can go ahead and do that and you can glue down all of your little sections if you haven't done that already, where the little wires meet the board so that it won't slide around. Completely up to you. I always like to remind people that my videos are for inspiration. You might not like everything that I do. You might prefer to do it a different way, but I'm just here to inspire you, and then you're gonna do your own little twist. Do your own thing that makes you happy. So now that I have it in place, I can really look at it and decide 
Do I want things left as they are or trim them down? So you trim them down. I wanna add a little bit more of this pattern because I had a little bit of this ribbon left, not much. So I am gonna just cut that in half and then I'm going to glue it in the middle of this bow. And the glue just neatly sat down in there and I can tuck this down and we don't see any glue and you can just fluff your bow over the top so it looks like little tails there. All right, so now to put the star on, I'm going to thread some of this jute through the top of the star in that little ring and then attach it down on the stake the same way that I did the bow. Just gonna thread it through the back and tie it in place. And here are some ideas for you to embellish. So there's a necklace there, there's some buttons here, and some little wood stars. Anything that you choose, you can put these all over and anywhere. I've decided that I want to use the necklace, so I'm just going to try to carefully cut it over my bucket so that I can catch all those beads and use them for another project. Once I get all my flags off, I am going to add some hot glue and then tuck them into the swag. Just here and there, there's really not a pattern. I just kind of look at it overall and decide what I want to go where. You can use table scatter for this if you want to. I think Dollar Tree has like stars um, table scatter and you can use that. That would be really cute in here. Really sparkly and glittery if you like that kind of a look better. My look is a little more on the rustic, like a rustic cottagey farmhouse look, so I prefer this. And then maybe one more on the bottom. Give you an opportunity to check everything out. This is when I decided to take the other star off and replace it with this one. I felt like the colors just worked better with what I had going on, so I took one of those yard stakes and um, the ones that I had cut off of the stick, and then I'm just gonna use that to glue down here. I add a little more glue so that it is not flopping around, but you could always wire this down if you wanted to. But I wanna make sure that everything is holding up nicely. And this is how it's going to look. To make a hanger on the back, I'm just gonna grab the ends of the jute from the bow. I'm gonna make a knot on the end and now we have an opening to hang it. Trim off the excess, refluff where needed, and it's good to go. Project number two, I'm going to be using a thrifted star. It's a little wicker looking star or grapevine star. Scrap of fabric and some thrifted floral picks. I'm gonna start by taking off the stuff we're not gonna need. So I'm taking out that frosted looking greenery. I'm pulling off the webs and extra vines and the jute that's on there. I'm going to flip over my fabric and I am going to make sure that the pretty side is up and I'll use my white chalk pen that came from Dollar Tree and just trace roughly along where this is. You can't really do it too close because it's irregularly shaped. But I'm just gonna roughly go around here so I'll have a pattern to cut. And I'll take my scissors and just start trimming out this star. This is gonna be a backing for the star. Just so you can really see the embellishments that we put on the inside. The little star came from Goodwill and so did my other supplies, the fabric and everything. But you can find this stuff at Dollar Tree. You can find, maybe not the star, but you could definitely find, you know, the florals and some really nice fabric at Dollar Tree. So I am going to take some hot glue, press it down just on the outside. I'm not gonna go over the inside, but all the little high spots where it's connected, gonna protect my finger and then just add the glue and press it down on all the little sections and trim off anything that is extra on there. I'm gonna go all the way around the star until it is completely covered on the back like this. Then I'm gonna cut down my picks, this really pretty blue. It's like a, I don't know, almost like a, a denim blue. It's really pretty, but a little bit brighter. And this little white baby's breath. I thought these 
thought these were really sweet wispy and airy and they look like little stars then I'm gonna make a tiny bouquet in my hand I'm just gonna put the blue and white staggered up and down how I like them I'm gonna add and take away until I get it exactly like I like it easy enough and then once everything's in place I'm gonna take some floral wire I'm going to twist it tightly around the top and then wrap it around to hold everything in place. I'll cut off any extra and I'll use a little scrap of fabric here to just wrap the bouquet. And a dot of hot glue on the little flap there to hold it in place. Just like that. Now it's the perfect size to fit down in our star, just like that. And I like that, I think that's pretty. But I want to give it a little something extra because it's patriotic, we need some red and white. So let's just do red and white plaid, how about that? I'm gonna twist it around, just grabbing up some extra little pieces I had here. A little shorter in the front, a little longer in the back. I'm going to take some floral wire, twist around that little section I was holding on to, and make almost like a little handle for it. You're going to clip it off. Be careful that you don't poke your finger. These wires can be very fine. And then I like the way that looks. You could just stick something in the side like that or glue it down, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I want it kind of peeking out the back. So I added some hot glue holding it in place to give it just a moment to get dry and sit up. And then it's ready to go. I can tuck it right in there and it's perfectly ready to hang. Or you could sit it anywhere you want to in your house. Maybe even near all the goody foods you're gonna be making for the 4th of July. That would be good too. Onto the last project. This is a thrifted, no, this is not thrifted. This is a sign that someone gave me that did not have the light in the back. But I thought maybe I could still work with it. It's raw wood. I do believe it came from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby originally. I'm gonna take a variety of paints, red, white, blue, brown. I'm going to mix some brown into a little bit of water so that we can make a stain out of this paint. Mix it thoroughly. And then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and I am just going to go over all of my areas except for the letters. So all the areas on the sides, the stars, and all of that are going to get a nice good coat. You can get on the inside too. If you don't like this technique, you know, you can always use whatever color paint you want to use here. You could use antiquing wax here. You could paint the entire thing one solid color if you would like. But I like the rustic look, so I'm going to color everything this little stain color, and then I'm going to add to some color to it. You can easily take the buttons off of here by just clamping down on the back and snapping it off. This video is part of the Patriotic DIY playlist by Teresa B. DIYs. I'm going to have all the links to her channel and to the playlist in the description box below. So be sure that you go support all the rest of the creators in this challenge when you're done with my video. All right, so of course I'm gonna use red, white, and blue paint here. So I'm gonna take my red paint and go over my U. I'm just, I love a good flat brush and I found that if you find one that is the about the same diameter as the, or the same width as the project that you're doing, you can just put that on without hardly any lines in it and it makes it great. So I have a white S and I have a blue A. And I don't like that little center section there. I don't know, I don't know, I took that off. I just clipped it off, no problem, paint over that little spot and we're good to go. So I'm gonna take these little buttons. I only had red and blue, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna use blue in the middle and red on the ones on the outside, right where they connect to the box. 
Now, I know that I want to wrap this box because I'm going to put lights in it. We need lights and sparkle for the 4th of July and for patriotic holidays, right? So, I'm going to use my handy dandy hot glue gun. I'm going to add some glue down and the popsicle sticks are the perfect size for the box. They sit on the bottom and we're going to be a great way to support the ribbon that we're going to be putting on the outside of the box. So one popsicle stick on each side and then across the top I'm going to use two. One to the left, one to the right, or one on the top and one on the bottom. And this is going to give us a place to glue our ribbon and keep the ribbon for them collapsing down into the box. And I have some of this beautiful ribbon here that is going to work perfectly. It's red and white, so I think it's going to be great for this project. I'm going to just go down the center of my popsicle stick to press it down, but you can put your glue wherever you want. I've just found since we have the support here, this is a great place to put it. And you don't see any lines or puckering, and it covers perfectly all the way to the edges. I'm going to trim off the excess, and this is how it is going to look. So now I've just taken some lights that I have and stuffed them in the back. You don't have to use this color. These are of a bluish white, but you can use any lights that you get from Dollar Tree, whatever color you like. Put them on the inside. I'm going to use a little of this sticky tape. It's like a thick tape, and I'm going to stick it onto the back. I did get it from Dollar Tree, but I don't remember what it's called. When you turn the lights on, this is how the little box is going to look, and that is so cute. You could put this on your porch when you're watching fireworks outside. Cute. Here it is in the dark. Yes, I like it. All right. Here are almost all of my patriotic DIYs. I have done several different videos. I will link those down in the description box and put them in the card for you so you can check out anything you're interested in. There is a cohesiveness to my projects. I think all of them look nice together. You can do whatever you like in whatever style that you like. Again, links will be in the description box below for Teresa B. DIY and the playlist. So be sure that you check everybody out. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're interested in the projects that you have seen today. We have lots more coming. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.